So, how do you study an ecosystem? From top to bottom? From east to west? Over time? Yes, and many other ways too. My name is Danielle Dixon. I'm a senior program manager with North Pacific Research Board, and I manage our Integrated Ecosystem Research Program, or IERP for short. Traditionally, science focuses on understanding one aspect of an ecosystem, like a particular animal, really well. But that only gives you information about one small piece of a puzzle. When you study an ecosystem as a whole, you begin to put the pieces of the puzzle together and understand what connects them. It's like solving a mystery, piecing together clues. With oceanographers, fish biologists, marine mammal scientists all working together to study an ecosystem, we can go beyond observing what happened and begin to understand why it happened. And that's what makes this so exciting. Often in oceanographic projects, you measure one or two things. Like I might just measure sound, somebody else might just measure temperature and saltiness and current speed. We measured almost every possible element of the biology and the chemistry and the physics. And that gave us a really holistic, integrated view of the ocean. That is my favorite way of working on a, on a ship or, or anywhere. I love being part of a larger interdisciplinary group. While I work on my part, I am interested in what other people are working on and why I care about what I do all links back to other parts of the system. So an Integrated Ecosystem Research Program, or IERP for short, is pretty unique in that it brings together 50 to 100 scientists, each of them an expert in their own discipline of marine science, whether that's physical oceanography, fish biology, or marine mammal science. And they come together to work together and share their knowledge over a period of at least five years, sometimes longer. And that gives them the opportunity to really understand how one aspect of the ecosystem connects to what their colleagues know about other aspects of it. And it really allows us to take a more holistic approach and figure out how an ecosystem works. So NPRB is really excited about the model we've developed with the IERP program. And we've now implemented it in the Arctic. Before that, we conducted an IERP in the Bering Sea and then one in the Gulf of Alaska. In the future, we plan to continue our integrated research in the Bering and Chukchi Seas and really hone in on that northern Bering Sea region where we're seeing some very rapid change. And one reason the IERP model is so exciting is that it can really be applied to any ecosystem in the world. Because IERPs facilitate continued collaboration over a number of years, they allow you an opportunity to build the relationships that could allow the use of Western science alongside indigenous knowledge. Alaska's bountiful marine ecosystems are important to many people, from commercial fishermen to Alaska Native communities and everyone in between. And we really look forward to conducting the next IERP in partnership with the people that they matter to most. So, how do you study an ecosystem? You IERP it! You can find more information about IERPs on our website. Please visit www.nprb.org.